What's up, fellas? Cody, you ready? I am. So we're fishing a different tournament series. This is an evening tournament. You've seen it on the channel before a couple times. Me and Doug won a tournament in it last year, but they're just little three-hour derbies. Uh, most of them are on the river. So we're trying our foot at something new today. So we're going to the Kentucky River. Uh, stretch I've never fished. He's fished it a couple times. I don't really know anything about it. So really, we're just kind of going to fish and just check it out, but we'll catch you at the water. Start on this point. I figured. All right, fellas. We're on the first spot. We will be fishing this lock today. We're gonna fish up to it just cause I've never been in this area at all and I don't really know the contour of how this stuff lays or anything. So I don't wanna get too overzealous and run up on a nice little spot where I'm gonna beach my boat or something. So uh, we start a little bit farther back off of it here, but this nice point looks good and all this rock. We're gonna fish up to where this water's coming over and see what we can do with it. For uh, people watching on YouTube, um, this is a three hour tournament, best five. So you gotta you got kinda work quick, quicker than you want to at least a little bit. But if you can find something out real fast or even just get a couple on the boat pretty quick, usually setting pretty good. So that's why we're both throwing a Ned rig on this rock. Um, the water's a little low. We did have some rain today. But um, this is probably the clearest I've seen the river in literally probably 10 years. So I think we might do okay today. Four pounder coming right up. Good guy. Probably right. Can't tell. I don't think I have it. No. I did get hit, but... I got bit, but... Couldn't tell anything. Work our way out. Yeah, yeah. All right, Cody, let's go. Let's get skedaddle from here. All right, fellas, we didn't move very far. I just want to fish this real quick right around this, and then we're going to move again. We probably won't be here more than five minutes or so. You put the boat up and go mini golfing? <laughs> they have a mini golf course? Yeah, they do. There's a bass. Yep. Pretty good one, too. It's a keeper. John, seen the damn guy. Awesome. Bro, are you serious? Spooked. He's still there. I know. He just has no mind in it. Down, it's a bed. I think it is. Yep. Oh well. Man, they're still in beds. They're still on beds in here. That's gonna suck too. It's tough. That's really tough. Probably will not catch any. Sit here for a second, see if it comes back up. I S, solid keeper. It's probably 13, 14 inch, at least. Yeah, well. Let's boot scoop boogie, Cody. Head on down. All right, fellas. Once again, didn't move far. I don't know this body of water at all. So, it's a nice bluff here. Looks like it could hold a spot of bass or two. We'll try it for a few minutes here. Not super long, but just to see. You scroll through your phone. Drop shot and flip the wood very, very, very slowly. <laughs> so slow, it's not like you're doing it. Definitely. There he is. Yeah, it's a spot too. Yes, sir. Good spot. Good shit, man. 
Sick, nasty. I really, I really figured it won't be on this truck. <laughs> but he was swimming also, off with it. There's one of those holes. That's why it feels so good. Oh, that's awesome. See, looking. there's one down there. You can see the fog come off the water. Yeah. Awesome, fellas. We got one in the well. It's a nice, like almost 13 inch spot. It's pretty good. We still got two hours to try to find four more. They obviously live on it. I'll take five of those. Man, it feels amazing. Man. man, I forget how fast these tournaments go by. They zoom by, man. Yeah, they do. Like a real, there's like a meme of it, something like that, but he just done it over and over. Because mm. I know them. There was a blow. Up. Uh, Little fish. I know the actual song, yeah. All right, fellas, we've moved the pretty decent way this time. There's a nice little bluff rock wall here that kind of leads into the mouth of the creek. I'm going to try it out for a minute at 45. Oh, oh my God. Now that no. oh, pulled my whole worm off. Bluegill stole it. It didn't feel that little, but it didn't feel huge or anything. Not the reason I pulled a few out, but I just figured you'd probably need another one. Did he eat it? Those things float. <laughs> yeah, he probably fucking sucked her down. I'm going to throw a top water when we get in here, probably. Yeah. Probably about the rest of the tournament. <laughs> Got one? Ah, it's not going to keep. Keep it all, but there's a fish. I mean, our folks. Cody, measure him just in case, just for the sake of argument. At least Bit you didn't skunk. It. Nah, yeah. don't even measure him. He's, he's like eight inches, man. See, bud? At least you didn't skunk. Hit it freaking hard. You no, know I'm gonna do, actually. Okay. I'll buzz bait for a minute. Absolutely. Don't throw my spooky time you want to. Spooky. For some reason, that spook specifically has like plus five left. I can't even hardly catch them on top water anymore. It's rare. I see my nigger on the live coat. <laughs> Look at that little turtle. Oh, we got one. It's a bluegill. No, it's a bass. It's a spot. He might. I don't think so. I stopped it and he just drilled it. I wasn't even paying attention. I think you can get it in. Yeah, I think I can get it through. Well, Look at that little turtle I heard. <laughs> fish number two for me. I don't think he's going to make it either. Caught that one on buzz bait, though. Oh, that's a creek already. He is ten and a half. Huh? Ten and a half inches little spot. See bud? Who we got in the water, I can turn it. Yeah. Well there's your buzz bait fish. <laughs> sure is. Need one a little bigger though. Bray got on me, of course. Of course. It, you're joking. This thing pulled out and I just dropped my clippers in the water. Oh, man. Stupid, man. Stupid. There's $13. All right, guys. We got about 30 minutes left. We're going to make our run back to towards the ramp, stop somewhere closer. See if we can pick one up. We caught a couple off this. So, I mean, it wasn't the worst thing we've done, but. Both of them were short, unfortunately, so that's unfortunate, but yeah, we'll make that run back and see what we can do there. What's up, guys? We're back. We're uh, close to the ramp. We got 23 minutes left. Probably going to throw top water the rest of this time down this bank with this rock, some wood, intermittent. Cody's going to throw a Ned rig just in case. What are you doing, What's big up, guy? big puppy? What you, don't you, need, doing? you don't need to eat that, I promise. <laughs> Say hi to puppy. 
All right, boys. I think that's gonna do it. Cody fish a cast out. I'm done. I might make a cast when we get over there, maybe. But I'm gonna hold this bag for a while. That's enough water for one. Fuck it. Hold that. I'll get it. Guys, we've lost, so I'm going to just weigh my fishy just to see what it goes. <laughs> One twelve. Glenn, well, if you want, I'll carry him down for you. What y'all got? One. That's not bad. How many has he got? He's just got one. He's got oh. a catfish. He ain't got no bass. Y'all got this. Um, Thank you. I got you. You taking them down? Before? Yeah, yeah, I'll take them down. <laughs> Unless y'all want pictures with them first. <laughs> Let us drop yeah. these in there. I got you. Uh, yeah. It'll be on YouTube. Just be, be sure to tell them that little, that little small mouth. I caught that one. All right, all right. <laughs> Boys, I got all the fish. All right, fellas, I'll just throw it out there to start. Apologies on pretty much any outro for this series here. It's gonna look like this a lot because it's dark uh, when we get off the water. But uh, <laughs> caught one keeper between us. I think we caught three all together. Yep. Not super great. I think we would have finished third. Something I'll throw out there, man, if somebody very easily has the tournament one like Glenn did tonight, I mean, he had a three pounder and he probably had close to six with his other two. Um, nobody was really even close to what he had, so. We do kind of courtesy weigh. We know he has it, so we didn't weigh in. I weighed my fish just to weigh it for you guys. It weighed 112. Nothing crazy. It is what it is. But it feels good to actually catch a keeper out of here because I haven't caught a keeper out of the river in probably five years. So, Cody, what was your verdict for the day? Eh. I mean, it was a nice evening. It just sucks. The fishing does every time on the river. but He didn't skunk, so yeah. positive. But we're going to get out of here. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.